Do you ever find your child repeating after what you said? Children repeating what they hear is a regular occurrence as they improve their language skills. It's a strategy that young children utilize to learn how to communicate. It may also occur when children are unable to comprehend the words intended at them. As a result, you may observe your child asking the same question over and over again instead of responding. Hi, my name is Farine, and in this video, I will be sharing the three things parents should know about echolalia in children with autism. Echolalia is the repeat of words or phrases. Delayed echolalia, on the other hand, is when someone repeats a sentence they've heard before at different times. For example, when the father asks, do you want milk? A child will repeat, do you want milk? The child mentions, do you want milk? when he sees milk bottle out of context. When children use echolalia, it may be hard to understand what they are trying to say. Understanding this form of speech can help you understand their meaning. Let's look at three things about echolalia. Children with ASD use echolalia because they learn language differently. Often, children with ASD take a different path. They may struggle to break down longer chunks of phrases or sentences into smaller parts during their first attempts at language. A child might say, it's time to eat, when he hears his mother filling the plate with food. While he knows those words refer to eating time, he doesn't know what they mean individually and cannot use them in other sentences. Echolalia can be helped by helping the child break down larger chunks of language and understand what each word means so that they can use it more effectively. Echolalia often has a purpose or message. Occasionally, children use echolalia for self-soothing or for rehearsing something. The purpose of echolalia may not be to send a message to anyone. However, children also rely on echolalia for a number of other reasons, such as Example, a child might say, do you want a cookie, to ask for a cookie, as he's heard others offer cookies this way before. For example, if a child imitates, you don't want to wear those pants, as his parent is getting out his pants, he might really mean, I don't want to wear those pants. For example, if a child imitates, do you want some yogurt? Right after he's been asked that question, he may actually want some yogurt and really mean yes. Figuring out the meaning behind echolalia can be tricky. Looking at the context is very important and thinking about the time the child originally heard it can help too. Echolalia is a stepping stone to flexible language. A child repeats chunks of language without understanding what they mean. As a result, the child's language will change. Words and phrases are recombined, mixed and repeated, which is known as mitigated echolalia. However, as children develop their language, they may use fewer words or shorter phrases to express themselves. Language becomes more spontaneous and adaptable over time. Echolalia may be perplexing at times. However, you will be more able to support a child who uses echolalia if you understand why they use it and how it acts as a bridge to more flexible language. If you have any inquiries, feel free to contact us using the information shown on the screen. And if you happen to know of someone who may benefit from this video, do share it with them as well. Thank you for watching the video today and we will see you next week. Bye!